Hello, welcome to Teach the Word. I was reading in Ezekiel a uh, poem. It's a lamentation poem for the about the destruction of Tyre. So Ezekiel 27 verses, uh, let's start in verse 8. Inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen. Your wise men, O Tyre, were in you. They became your pilots. Elders of Gebel and its wise men were in you to cock your seams. All the ships of the sea and their oarsmen were in you to market your merchandise. So, I mean, obviously, I'm just reading a snippet in the middle of a poem. It's, it's about how they, they were so wonderful and high and lofty, and then they were brought very low and destroyed, right? Um, but the thing I want to hone in on is it gives us a glimpse, I believe, of, of the role of elders and sages in that society, right? These are cities, these are Phoenician city-states. Sidon, Arved, Tyre, Gebel is uh, better known as Byblos, but in, in Hebrew it's Gebel. Uh, but um, inhabitants of Sidon and Arved were your oarsmen. Your wise men, O Tyre, were in you. They became your pilots. So you have the wise men as pilots. And then the elders of Gebel and its wise men, so elders and wise men, were in you to cock your seams. All the ships of the sea and their oarsmen were in you. Um, so anyways, I think that uh, shows us insight into thought, ancient Near Eastern thinking about elders and uh, sages. That they were pilots, so they were to guide. They were guiding the trajectory of, of events, where we, where we were going, how we were doing things. And they were caulking seams. So they were guiding the ships and caulking seams. Caulking seams would be uh, solving problems, what, fixing what's broken. Uh, so water doesn't come in and sink. Um, given the fact that, I think this is interesting, given the fact that the New Testament <clears throat> comes out of culture not that different than this, in that there's a, a upheld and a, a, a venerative regard given towards elders. In fact, elders are the ruler, people who are ruling and, and governing in the local churches. And uh, so the challenge for us, the devotional challenge is, um, to look to our elders in our congregations for these these purposes, for, for guidance and for, for fixing problems, problem solving, guidance, guiding the trajectory of where we're going as a church and fixing what's broken. That's a role for elders. Heavenly Father, we pray for our churches today, for those whom you've placed in our churches as elders and we ask, Lord God, that you would strengthen their hands, that you would empower and enable us as members of congregations to view elders um, as wise men who are um, guiding the ship of the church and who are cocking the seams and fixing the problems. Help us to submit to elders like, like the word calls for, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.